All right, let's take a look at how to use Factiva, one of my favorite all-time databases for doing research on news coverage. And first we'll hit the uh, Mason University Library homepage. We'll log into our library account because if you're working from home in particular, you're gonna need to prove to the database that you're really coming from Mason. So let me just get a quick uh, push notification to my device. I will approve. Success, we are here. And then you click on databases and we'll click on F and you'll see that Factiva here is the first thing that comes up. We will click Factiva. All right. It is a Dow Jones product, which is why you see the weird little D there. Okay. Here is Factiva. Pretty straightforward um, situation. Uh, first thing let's do is let's come down here and do a date. We'll enter a date range and we'll type in 05, 26, 2020. And then we'll just go to 0, uh, let's see, 05, 31, 2020. So that's going to be the first week, roughly. Uh, then the next thing we want to do is we want to tell it where to look. So we're going to click on the arrow next to all sources. All sources you don't want because there's all sorts of stuff that is not news. So we're going to click by type. And that's going to bring up different options. You can see why I didn't want us to use everything. And we're going to scroll down here to newspapers. Click on that right there. Boop. This is just a personal preference. You, you, you could choose other things. And then we're going to click on the words here, top US newspapers. There's other things you could click on, but I don't want you to click there. So what you want to do is click right in the word there. And you'll know you're successful when you see a yellow, orangey yellow button. I guess that's more orange. Uh, orangey button here. Um, that's where you want it. All right, so now you're ready to go. And now we will click the words. Uh, um, I will do a... Um, little parentheses and or quotes those are not parentheses George Floyd and I put it in quotes because I wanted to know that I wanted to know that it's supposed to search for that specific phrase the whole thing completely and protest and you can do different things I'm just doing this for experimental purposes All right so what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring us back every story in this data set which is about 50 newspapers that mentions both the name George Floyd and the word protest, right? So just, just for experimental giggles, all right? And what we're going to find as a result is you're going to see a number of publications, all right? Total stories, that is. You'll get a little bit of information here about where the news came from. You'll get a little bit of a dive on the subject matter, again, at a high kind of a level. This is Dow Jones, which is you know business reporting, so they've <laughs> always got the industries. Other stuff, some people, uh, you know, and some keywords down there. N not not kind of as elegant as, as Media Cloud in, in some ways, but you know, good enough for government work. The more important thing in some ways here um, is that once you have found the stories that you're looking for, right? You click on one, aha, I have the whole text right here, right? And so, this shouldn't be too hard to figure out. The next thing you do is you just copy and paste it. Now, don't tell anyone at home I did this, kids, because, you know, we're not supposed to copy stuff, I guess. This is for educational purposes only, and you're not reusing it, so I think it's perfectly legit. <laughs> but anyway, this is how I recommend you do it. And then you just copy and paste that into a Word document, clean it up a little bit as you need to, and you're good to go. So that's the easiest way to get... Um, to get stuff into your uh, into your own you know project now let me show you a couple of other things we can do let's go back and hit this button modify search in the top right so now if you're clever you're realizing hey Trav if you if you search for George Floyd and the word protest then you're gonna bias the uh, you're gonna bias the the stories that come back because they're all by definition gonna have the word protest in them so what if I just want to know about 
all the coverage, right? And and frankly, I did, I think, say the project was about protests and versus insurrection. So you probably should have the word protest, well, at least possibly anyway, in there. But, but you know, what, what if uh, you wanted to compare stories that mentioned the word protest with stories that didn't? So then you just take that off, right? And, and see, right, how many stories there are that just mention George Floyd. And the number is 574. Now that's interesting, because right there, we've just done a, kind of an interesting, right, an interesting trick. So we know now, and I'm writing this down on my little piece of paper, you can't see me, but I've just written down the, word, the number 574. That's how many stories over this time frame mention the name George Floyd. And now we can start sort of searching within the search. So if I type, and protest, I know that there's 200, and I think it was 76. So about half the stories, almost exactly, about half the stories about George Floyd also mention the word protest. But let's try another word. How about justice? How many would, okay, quick guess, before I hit the button, is it gonna be more than half or less than half? Ooh, I don't know, let's find out. 326, ah, oh, so more stories mention justice then mention protest. That's awesome. Okay, we're, we're learning. How about and violence? Oh, but so I'm going to do a... See, ooh, look what I did there. If you put an asterisk at the end, it's a wild card, it's called, and it will find the word violent, violence, and anything that ends after the word violent, which I don't know what else would be. But anyway, so how many stories mention violence? Now, it might not mention protest, might also mention protest. Ooh, 360. So... That's even more than justice, and it's more than protest. So sometimes, uh, like we can see this one here, you know, mob violence. Ooh, but promises justice. Wow, this is fascinating. All right. So how about this? And protest and justice. Ooh, that's a good one. What's the number going to be? 92. 175. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, how about, how about, let's try again. How about the word peaceful? But I'm going to do peace with that because I think that peace and peaceful are both, or peacefully, right? Peacemaker, 243. So this is getting very interesting, right? All right. So that's pretty much all you needed to see from Factiva. It's very powerful. You can, um, you can search specific sources. You can, I want to look just at the New York Times. Oops, I got to spell it right. Um, there you go, New York Times. Right, do that if you want to do. If you want to do a couple, you can just stack them together like that. So I can do New York Times, read New York Post. I can do the Washington Post. I can add the Wall Street Journal. You know, so on and so forth. So that's up to you. Um, but anyway, Factiva is a really powerful tool, and that's the basics of how to use it and um, and how to use it especially to grab content. And in the next module, I'm gonna show you um, two of the stories that I grabbed in exactly this way, or I'll show you one of them, and then I'll show you how to go through and actually do some coding. All right.